Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can add a null texture to objects in Blender. So a null texture is fairly common on things like grips, so we're going to have a look at how we can do this on something like a motorbike or bike handle, and I'm just going to be focusing on this section in the middle so I've made it slightly more obvious to see. Now there are actually two methods of doing this that I generally use, depending on if you want to use the native tools in Blender, or if you want to add a few more additional features, and for that we're going to need to use an add-on called HardOps. So I'm going to Shift and D and just bring this off to the side, so we can have a look at both of these methods. We'll start with the free one first. So let's say we want this surface, the one that's highlighted, to be the area where we're going to have our null texture. So I'm just going to go into edge mode, that's using machine tools, you can just get into edge mode normally. And the first thing I need to do is add some boundaries to where I want this to be. So I'm going to control an R to add an edge loop, click to confirm it, and then right click to center it. Then I'm going to control and B, and if you've got any more where we're adding in this bevel, scroll down, and then you can just have this as a single element, but we know it's perfectly in the middle. So I'm going to add this edging here, and we're not going to have any of this texture, on these faces or these faces, and it's quite good to have that little surround. The next thing I need to do is create squares for this object. So I'm just going to control an R and then this time scroll up to add more edge loops and I want these to be approximately square, something like that. And then we're going to click, right click again, and we've got that in place. Now at this point this is going to start going wrong if our scale is incorrect. So if I go to my item in object mode, we can see that I've got a scale that's all messed up. The X and the Y disagree, which means if I go into a face and I press I to inset, it's not going to inset those equally. So I've left that problem there so you could see this. This was from creating this object where I scaled this on the Y axis. So we're just going to go into object mode, control and A, and then apply the rotation and scale. In reality, we just need to apply the scale, but I often apply both at the same time. That's going to allow me to go into face mode, and now when I press I, it's going to inset everything equally. So, let's go into side view, shift and Z, and I'm going to select all of the faces that are in the area where I want this texture to be. I'm then going to press I to inset, but I want to inset this individually, so I'm going to press I again. And now each of these is being individually inset. Now you could ignore this stage, but I quite like having a little gap between each of my knurls. So I'm just going to go to about there and then click. Then we're going to press I to inset again. And I'm going to get to the point where I'm happy that that's what I want the top face of my knurl section to be. You can still change this afterwards as well. But importantly, we can then hold down control and either drag that in. We want to drag this out. So I'm just moving my mouse to the right hand side and we're making this null texture. At any point I can take my finger off control and I'm back to controlling the size of this texture. So you could make it really, really pointed if you wanted to. You'll notice that when we get really small, you can see these aren't actually perfect squares, but they're fairly close to. So I'm gonna to go to about there and then click, and then we can go back into object mode and I've got my null texture, which will make a great looking handlebar grip. Now the other way we can do this is that we can use an add-on called HardOps. HardOps is a paid for add-on, but it has so many features, and one of them is that you can add in this null texture. We're gonna start exactly the same way. I'm gonna control an A and apply the scale. I'm gonna go into edge mode, control an R, click, right click, and control and B to put in those protected edge sections where we don't want the texturing to be. And then once again, control an R, and attempt to get this relatively square. Left click, right click, and we'll stick with that. And then again, we go into face mode and select all the faces that we're interested in, so those. Now, this is gonna do basically the same thing, but with a few more additions to it. So if you only want this, you can quite comfortably use the free version. And I wouldn't say it's worth buying hard ops just for this feature, but there are millions of tasks hard ops does unbelievably well so do feel free to have a look in the description there's a link to a hard ops playlist where i'm slowly trying to get through some of them but there's just so many it's taking a while so what i'm gonna do is press q to bring up the hard ops menu and then i'm going to keep my mouse over where it says ear macro and i'm going to hold down control you can see that if you hold your mouse you've got other options as well so this is not the only thing that it does but if i hold down control and click then we're going to start making this null texture and it starts at a perfect point, which is really cool. If you press H, that gives you your options. And then for example, I can hold down control 
and then move the mouse and you can change the inset of this that we had to do as its own stage. So I'm going to go to about there. The mouse is going to adjust the height just like it did before and if we press F it's going to toggle these flat faces. Now this does seem to reset everything which is annoying. So I'm going to press Control and then change the size slightly. And you'll notice this doesn't allow you to do the gap that way, which is a little bit of an annoyance because it gets rid of it. And you can toggle that off and on. So you can make some really cool different effects with larger insets. So if I press control again, we'll change that inset here with a spike, or you can press F to get that flat section, for example, like that. Now I will mention that you could just do the same trick again. So I to inset everything, and then Q and then control click on EM macro to get that press F and then you can control. So there is just as many features, but there is importantly one additional one. If we try that again, so Q control click and we do that. What you can also do, which you cannot easily do. I mean, you can subdivide it with this version over here, but with this, what's really good is that I can just scroll up one and it doubles the amount of points. And then I could go even further and further. So you can make these really small. So for example, if I decide I want double the detail, it's really quick to do that. And I can keep looking through until I decide the right size. And then I can hold down F to do that. And then control change that face again. So you can add in more knurling or a more dense structure really quick with this as an option in comparison with our option over here using just the native tools. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other. It just depends entirely what you want as your end result and how quickly you want to be able to fiddle around with it. So there we go. That is how we can add a null texture in in two methods using native blender and hard ops. If you did find that video useful, please do hit the like button. It's really appreciated and helps the channel out. And if you want to support the channel any further, we do have a Patreon page where for a few dollars a month, you can get these videos a week early, ad free and other great perks as well. Have a great day, guys.